<laughs> Did you have to make any specific modifications to the nib beyond what a small nib would be? Like, is it well, literally just an enlarged regular nib, or is there... Well, it, the top part is an enlarged regular nib. You see this reservoir underneath it? It's like a series of plates. Now, it's not really cheating, because if you use a regular nib, they sell reservoirs that you clip onto a lip, uh, onto the underside of it to hold the ink. So, it's not a dishonest innovation. Whoops. So why didn't they think it would work? Well, because they're just a bunch of doubting Thomases, and they didn't want me to succeed. <laughs> they had it in for me. I don't know why. I've, everyone I've met has it in for me. I don't know what that's about. Karma. Karma, that's it. They have bad karma. That one. And Charlie. You know, these things are not difficult to make or to understand. I'd like to encourage everybody here to, uh, to make their own version of it if it intrigues them. I'd, I'd like for this to become the kind of thing you could pick up in a stationery store. <laughs> Would you ever publish instructions on how to make one for the full size? No. Copper plates are not hard to figure out. They just nestle in the underside. <laughs> have you done any book signing with that? I have. Awesome. <laughs> I'll uh, sign any. I'll sign anything with this thing if anybody wants it done. Yeah, yeah, I got one right here. I'll be in line for that. Yeah. <laughs> will make a lion that's 50 feet long. Thank <laughs> you. 